What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail. You're not just taking my bag. Like, so I'm on social media and I see this young lady just, you know, expressing her glee on how, you know, you're going to cozy up to a guy and you're going to be able to get his bag. And I started thinking, like, okay, look, I got to actually be honest about this. For you ladies, uh, who just for some odd reason think it's it makes absolute sense for you to meet a guy that you don't know that you're a stranger to and have a and, and believe that you you're gonna be with him long enough that you you come before everything he's worked for prior to you because so you can get his bag he's gonna hit you with the scorpion get over here like no you can't just take my bag. Partner, like, what are you doing? What what made you think? So you mean to tell me, you know, so I show up in your life and you're a stranger to me. And now, you know what? All is mine now. Yeah. And when I leave, I'm a, and, and if we don't make it work, when I leave on the way out, I'm taking half of this stuff with me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it's going to work. Because I, no matter how good or bad this person is, you know, they're going to owe me for being with them at some point. And they got to pay me for my time wasted. Wait a minute. You're not just going to take my bag, player. Because who said, let's calculate who's been wasting whose time. It's not an automatic, I know it's an automatic assumption that, you know, I'm wasting your time because you as a woman can, you know, you need that time to get somebody to, to settle down with who will actually um, take care of you for a lifetime or for a significant period of time if you're married or in a long, long-term relationship, right? But here's the issue with that. Y'all ain't, first of all, y'all ain't trying to get married. <laughs> Y'all ain't trying to be in these long-term relationships. Y'all just trying to stick in long enough to take something that's not yours but when it's time to go. And that's the people who I'm talking to right now. You're not just taking my bag. Like, see, divorces and child support really got y'all messed up. Where y'all think, oh, you know what? And, and if you marry him, you can get some of his retirement. And uh, yeah, uh, 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 take his bag. Yeah, <laughs> that's sweet, honey. But then you turn around here, you a boss. You an independent woman. You got a career. You got this. You got that. You can do this. You don't need no man. But you need to always make sure you get take a bag on your way out. Like... The sheer narcissistic, psychopathic selfishness of this and, and, and being so comfortable with it, it's like, oh, we got problems. Because at the end of the day, what you're basically telling people is you, you as a human being can look at every human being around you and put a price tag on how much they owe you for interacting with you. And this price doesn't, this price changes per person. So you feel like you didn't get enough from, from this person, you're gonna overcharge this person. The person you overcharge, you know, if you meet the person and you like the person differently, you're gonna undercharge the next person. So this fluctuating market that you got, that, that, that means you're gonna take a big bag from him and a small bag from him and no bag from him and, and too much of the bag from him. You know, and too little in the bag from him. Like, oh, no, player. Oh, no. So when you're seeing these guys, like, you know, why these guys are being cheap? Well, they're really not being cheap. They're just protecting what they work for because you didn't work for it. That, that That's the thing. Just because you showed up and you wanted to be in a relationship with a guy does not mean you work for, all, for his quote-unquote bag. That's what he worked for. That's not yours. You know? That is not yours. It's not your bag. It's my bag. I push the button. You know push the button. You get what I'm saying? Like it's 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 very, very weird. You know, 
Because this is why some of y'all are reckless spenders now, because you assume that the minute I show up, he owe me and I'm going to get something from him and I can take the money that I'm getting from his bag that I'm going to act like I deserve some of it because he likes me. Y'all really taking this Jill Scott song a little, a little left, you know, he owes me, I'm special. No, player. No. And then getting mad when people leaving with their stuff. You know you gonna do that. You gonna give me your stuff. Get over here. That's how it's going. And then you mad that people want to prenup you. Yeah. Why do you want to prenup? Because I'm taking my bag with me. Get over here. What the hell? But we gonna have why you think people are Getting together as we're older and we're, we're like, I, ain't, I don't want no kids. You don't want no kids. See, now we can get together because I already got kids. You already got kids. And you're not going to just get with me to, to for the kids situation to get a bag later. No, 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 no. Get your own. You don't see me yanking for yours. You know, you remember, we, this is equality, baby. You know, it's equality. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, or die, try and peace.